Good evening everyone in Africa as well worldwide. I am Jemadari Vibigit Kilele. Just posting this against the criminal of Rwanda, Mr. Paul Kagame. I've just watched some bit of news on the TV uh, showing uh, Mr. Paul Kagame lighting a flame in a stadium to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the genocide in Rwanda. 30th anniversary. And during the 30 years, this guy has enjoyed power and has done whatever he could do and what he was ambitioning to achieve. He killed, he amassed a lot of money, he got praises, glory, and you name it, whatever uh, dictator ambition to achieve. Mr. Kagame so far has achieved it. But if I'm coming to the screen right now, it is to expose this guy who has been exposed many times by private individuals like me, but unfortunately has been covered, protected by the international media of the international community, which has been protecting him, financing him, equipping him, empowering him, because he is a conduit through which multinational companies have been sucking money from DRC, that is the so-called the Democratic Republic of Congo. Kagame is a crafty man. Kagame is a super liar, is a champion. in malice and whatever you name, is a cunning name, a very cunning man, but is the darling of the dishonest international community, which has been supporting him for too long. Kagame has killed opponent right in the country as well as abroad. Today, hypocritically, he is commemorating the 30th anniversary of the Rwandan genocide. But the question remains and still is, who is the mastermind of genocide in Rwanda? It is not the Hutu as the international community knows and has been spreading the lie to support Kagame. The mastermind of the genocide in Rwanda is Mr. Paul Kagame himself with his army called the Patriotic Front. Here is a book, it is not written by me, here is a book that I recommend everyone to buy and read. You can get it online in whichever language you want, probably it has been translated in a million languages in the world. It is entitled In Praise 
of blood. The crimes of the Rwandan Patriotic Front and it is signed a bright lady called Judy River. It's here. Allow me to show it for the second time. Ladies and gentlemen, buy this book for those who speak English. It is written in English and uh, it was translated in many languages, French, Portuguese, Spanish, and you name it. I think many languages hold the content of this book. This woman, by publishing this book, ran a risk to be killed, and still she does run the risk to be killed by Kagame spies. Yes, he's a spy master everywhere in the world. But courageously, she wrote this book and published it. Given the publication of this book, which exposes all the crime committed by Paul Kagame and his terrorist army, the corrupt international community, which acrimoniously speak wrong things about the victims while supporting Kagame and his patriotic front continues to uphold him as a model of leadership, of governance, of democracy, and you name it, all what the Western countries uh, sell across the world as being uh, governance values to the world. But whatever they say is not what is happening in Kigali, in Rwanda. Mr. Paul Kagame is a criminal, is a terrorist, is a thief, is a super liar, is a schizophrenic whose mental attitude is disturbed because he was raised in poverty. He spent all his years growing up in poverty in Ugandan exile, and then he came out as a military uh, specialist after being trained in some uh, a military center in the US and everywhere to come and terrorize the Great Lakes region. Mr. Kagame is a liar. Today is celebrating a 30th anniversary of genocide. Us as Africans, we see this as an insult, as vomiting on the victims. He is the one who killed his own Tutsi brother. He is the one who triggered the assassination of the majority ruling party in, 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 in Rwanda of the Hutu. He is the one who shot down the presidential jet but investigators, after picking up the black box of the presidential jet, which was shot down, kept mum and never released the content of the investigation because they wanted to exploit Congo. Today, Congo is humiliated, a huge country without army, without this and that. Everything is blacklisted for Congo and Rwanda is being publicized as the superpower with the best military, 
with the best governors, with the best whatever you need to say as positive for Rwanda. But it is Paul Kagame. This book is not the only one, but to some extent it is the epitome of exposing evil because Mr. Kagame and his patriotic front are evil in Africa, in the world. He is not different from Adolf Hitler. He is a fascist and his party as well is practicing the Nazi method akin to what happened in Germany at the time as well as what the Western country, the Western countries and the Western side had installed in Ukraine which Mr. Vladimir Putin is fighting against. Mr. Kagame has been killing Rwandan opponents as well as Congolese everywhere in the world. I am warning, alerting the world to be cautious. Wherever you see a person identifying himself or herself as a Congolese citizen, you got to pay attention, scrutinize very well whether really this person is a Congolese citizen or not. For those who believe in God, God is not stupid to have created us human being, but with different morphological traits. As Congolese, we are different from Rwandans. We are Bantu. Them are not Bantu. The Tutsi are Nilotic, and there is no racism, no discrimination in what I'm saying. I don't want to enter deeply into the morphology of these people. But whatever they come to you, scrutinize whether they are Congolese or not. Because all over the world, they fly, they are walking, and they are working behind the label of Congolese. Yet they are not Congolese. Time will come as time goes on where we will expose them and we would send emissaries to the whole world to cancel their ID or their passport because they are not Congolese. There is no discrimination, no xenophobia in what I am saying. And Mr. Kagame knows it. The crisis in the eastern part of Congo is not what some political Analysts have said, talking about Mobutu, who refused or who denied nationality to Tutsi. In all 450 tribes found in Congo, from the borders that all African countries inherited from colonial period, there is no tribe called Tutsi in Congo. There is no tribe called Hutu in Congo. We've got 450 tribes. We don't have Tutsi in Congo. We don't have Hutu in Congo. Whoever comes to Congo as a Hutu or Tutsi is an immigrant. And he or she has to comply with the country's law which happens everywhere in the world. You can be in America, you can be in South Africa, China, Japan, whichever country in Europe, when you are an immigrant, there are options. Depending on the stipulation of the law, either they give you five, ten years, after they've checked your behavior, you can apply for nationaliz naturalization, or still you can hold your country's authentic nationality. Still, the, can, the host country is free to give you the naturalization or not. That is the question in Congo. I repeat, 
there is no Tutsi nor Hutu tribes in Congo. The Tutsi are from Rwanda. The Hutu are from Rwanda, Rwanda and Burundi. Well, when they had problems in the 50s, 5057, the Tutsi migrated to Uganda, to the neighboring countries like Congo, like Tanzania, Kenya, Burundi, etc. Uganda as well. They were not originating from there. They came from Ethiopia, from Eritrea, from the Nile, grazing the cattle and settled in Rwanda as well as in Burundi. They are not local indigenous of Rwanda nor of Burundi nor of Uganda. There is no discrimination, no xenophobia in what I'm saying because it is historically recorded. They are immigrant. Now, because they are hyper ambitious, they took over the power in Rwanda after killing President Abiyarimana. The Hutu revolted. They sent them back. I mean, they sent them, they were obliged to go to Uganda where they organized themselves to come after years and years to come and invade Rwanda. When they were invading Rwanda, the majority of Rwandans immigrated to Congo with the help of the international community, which at the time spoke to Mobutu to open up the borders and welcome the fleeing refugees. That is the truth. The rest of stories people are talking about is nonsensical. It's nonsensical. Neither had Congo refused to welcome the refugees. Because Rwandans, Tutsis, are not the only refugees in the Congo. We have got the Angolans in Congo. We have got the Ngwande from Central Republic. We have got Burundians. Many. We have got people from West Africa, from Mali, from Niger, from Senegal. They live in Congo. They got married to Congolese women. They made kids, they made families. And they are there. They are recognized as Western Africans, Angolans, depending on whichever countries they come from. They have never claimed swaths, portions, plot of land, and claim that they are Congolese citizens. Those who comply and who behave well are nationalized, are naturalized. But the Tutsi are the only people who cause trouble as they did with Uganda and they are doing it in Kenya, Tanzania and Burundi. Tanzania is the only country which stood up and not long ago, two, three years ago, Tanzania expelled all of them to go back to their country. If Tanzania has expelled them, how can they claim to be Tanzanians? Because they wanted as well to take over the power in Tanzania. Most of presidents who have been killed in Burundi from Melchior Ndadaye and the rest, who were the Hutu, were killed by Tutsi. And not long ago, they attempted to overthrow the new regime of the new president who is there after the death of uh, President Pierre Nkurunziza. It is still the same Tutsi who dream to create an empire with the call, uh, I don't know, the, 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 they've got uh, the name of the empire called uh, Hima, Hima Empire. 
which they want to create from Uganda, Rwanda, Kenya, Tanzania, Burundi, and now Congo. Today, Kagame with his lies has succeeded thanks to the backup of a poor country like France to convince the Congo Brazzaville president called Sasungwes to buy a swath of land of 980 kilometers under the guys that they want to practice agriculture. Why don't they farm in their own country? They want to come there. The same thing they do in Angola, the same thing they did with Central Africa, in Zambia, all this, the strategy is to surround DRC, attack DRC, whatever. The second wife of the Central Republic president is a Tutsi woman. They did the same thing in Congo Brazzaville, which is closer to DRC. I am warning all African countries to pay much attention to Rwandans. When Rwandans come to you, the aim is to corrupt you. They first of all come with the uh, ladies which they think and they believe are the most beautiful women in the world or in Africa. They will bring you their women. I am warning Africans. They will bring you their women that they think are more beautiful than the women that you have got. Little by little, they will get you. <coughs> Either they poison you or as time goes on, they steal all the document, the, the necessary document from you. It is what they've been doing all over the world. When you go to European Union, most of deputies, senators in Europe have got second, third girlfriend apart from their own wives who are the Tutsi or women given to them by Kagame to entice them and melt their conscience sexually. I'm repeating, <coughs> I'm warning everybody, every African and every leader in the world to pay attention to Rwandans, to Tutsi. They are super liars. They are evil. And they walk and work around with poisons. <coughs> they are everywhere. Wherever they come, they introduce themselves as Congolese. Pay attention. How are they morphologically? Most of them are tall, lanky. Pay attention. Zimbabwe, South Africa, Namibia, Zambia, everywhere in Africa, pay attention with Tutsi. They are evil. I shall tell you more. This is from me, for the Congo of Lumumba, of Kasavubu, of Pierre Mulele, of Kimpa Vita, of Kimbangu, for the Congolese who fight and the merchant who have died so that the Congolese nation survive. Have a good Sunday.
Je suis un homme qui a été nommé Dialogue 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 Dialogue